Hi everyone, how are you? I just had an epiphany and I just wanted to share this because it was my own revelation. And I just wanna share this with you. Maybe some of you can relate. So one of the things that um, I have, I don't know if it's a character defect, but it's perfectionism, right? So I'm always trying to figure things out and you know, wanting to do the right thing. And sometimes it was getting neurotic because I was always have to be the good little girl and do everything right. So in November, I got a speeding ticket, right? And it was silly, whatever. I got a speeding ticket on the way back from the gym home. And then immediately I wanted to take that four hour course to get the points off, right? So I did that fast and, you know, just my stuff came in with the perfectionism. It's like, I can't have points and I have to do this right. And I have to be the good little girl. So I did the course. And I didn't hear back, right? I got an email saying um, after I submitted it that they'll, I'll hear, hear back. And I never did. So that was in November. And then last week, I got a letter in the mail that said that my license was going to be suspended on the 8th, right? If I don't comply. So my anxiety went to here because that's the perfectionism. It's like, oh my gosh, what happened? And, you know, it was just, I think it was a little bit <laughs> over the top. Right, and it wasn't in correlation, obviously, to just having points on your license. So I immediately contacted the court and they told me what to take, right? So I took the right course immediately and submitted it immediately, right? So then I got a letter back and, I mean, an email back from the clerk and they said, well, we're sorry because it was due on January 13th. Right. So again, my anxiety went sky high and I'm like, oh, my gosh, you know, I can't believe this. I do everything right. I'm trying to be right. I'm going to have points on my license. And it was like blown out of proportion. And I know, like I talk about these energies coming in, there's a lot of things coming in from the past that we think we resolved, you know, whether it's financial issues or things like this or relationships and things that we thought that we healed and they're coming back for us to release them so you can release the karma so it just shifts right because there is no more karma that's you know coming in with these you know new people come new people <laughs> people being born now right everything's shifting um at a quantum level where the, these lessons don't have to be learned anymore okay just getting back to what i was saying Okay, so then I got that and I called um, my state farm agent and she, I'm like, Colleen, like seriously, am I acting not in proportion to the situation, right? Because I was like neurotic, right? Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have points and I'm a bad little girl and I did this wrong. And it was hard, like it was a hard thing for me to shift, which is what I got a revelation today, which I'm gonna share with you. And it was basically, it was no big deal. Like it's really seriously no big deal. Okay, from Colleen, my insurance person, right? So anyway, I did write to a motion for the judge to look at it on an email since you know I did do the course, and, but it was the wrong course and I wasn't notified, blah, blah, blah. So I'm on my bike today and I felt good and I detached and I let it go and it hasn't been on my mind. And I went for a bike ride before. And on the bike ride, I'm like, okay, why did this lesson come up? Like, what was it? And it wasn't about the ticket. It wasn't about, you know, a, you know, in the past getting speeding tickets or going fast or having a lot on my mind where I wasn't paying attention. It had nothing to do with that. What it had to do with was this neurotic perfectionism that came up because with that state, and this is where some of you may relate to it, with that state of not being good enough and having that perfectionism brings about old issues and old feelings of abandonment, you know, not being good enough, self-hatred, not doing the right thing. You know, I'm a bad little girl back from, you know, when we're growing up or teenager, or if you've been in relationships, say with somebody who's narcissistic, you know, you were never good enough in their eyes. You were never, you can never do anything good enough, right? So that was the lesson that came up for me with that. So I'm sharing this because it was deeper and more convoluted than what I was actually thinking. And again, with me trying to figure things out, you know, that's what came to me. And then I also know that how I talk about manifestations and creating a reality, 
that you can actually, and I can do this as well, is when we want to know the answers, we just tap in to God, source, universe, whatever you believe in and quiet our minds, let our ego go, right? And the answers will come, right? I just never tapped into it before because um, when I knew that it really wasn't a big deal, I let it go, but I was on my bike ride. And it's just, as I put the video up before, it's just very peaceful for me and answers come. So this is what came through. So we all have the ability to have our own answers. We don't need um, people to tell us. I mean, things are so apparent now. The veil is so thin where the answers are there immediately. You just have to ask, trust your intuition, and um, you know, you'll create that flow and be able to break these blocks because I know for a lot of people, there are a lot of things coming up. There's a lot of shadows, dark, dark nights of the soul. The energies are like this, up and down, up and down. And then, but once that lesson happens, it's gone and it doesn't come up. So yeah, so now's the time to really look at those things and to tap in um, and ask your questions and release and it works. And I just, I don't know why I need to share this, but I just needed to share this today. All right, everybody have an awesome weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.